Well... <laughs> Hold on. Let me go back a little bit. There. List of do's and don'ts for getting a channel started and making it something you can build on. Do. Keep making content. Well, that's just something that anyone can go on with once you've gotten started. And I already have gotten started for the fifth time in a row. So, hey, that's a great idea. Keep making things. That fuck, I can't use my Xbox to record stream fucking shit to mixer anymore. So, I'll, I'll just do dumb shit with a camera phone pointed at my face. Which no one fucking asked for. Because fuck it. I don't care. <laughs> I'll just keep doing stupid random shit. Well, okay. What do you have next? Put something of yourself into your videos. Don't just make your videos about the thing you're looking at. Make them about your views, your ideas, your feelings, your thoughts on the things that you're looking at. Yeah. Because by doing so, you instantly add something unique to the content. So I, I can definitely make an argument for nothing is unique. Yeah, we could get into some French philosophy on just how pointless and meandering and nonsensical the universe is. What was it? Jean-Paul Sartre. Yeah, we could definitely get into a theoretical discussion on that topic. But there, that's something that someone might think is unique already. Along with the satire. And the parodistic sarcasm that I just added. Well, moving right along! Now it's true that people may not like the way you do that, but the fact is they will feel something. You're engaging with the audience in a different way. And if you get it right, for every person who doesn't like it, there'll be ten who do. So add something of yourself to your content. Keep making content. You already said Read that. other channels you like in the comments. Keep making content. You already said that. Tell your friends and social media contacts about your videos. Keep making content. Stop repeating yourself. Post links to your video in places where you're sure that that's accepted and welcome. Keep making content. Look, damn it! I'm your taking audience. your advice. I'm keeping making things, even though I have one fucking r option. To make things completely cut the fuck off. Stop repeating yourself. No oh, wait, everyone does that. Ah well, fuck it. Let's continue. To do everything they say, and you will disagree with some of them, but listen to their views and cherish the good feedback. Keep making content. God damn it! Watch other channels similar to your own. Contrary to what some trolls will tell you, it's not stealing for you to make your own original take of an idea you saw somewhere else. And neither is it stealing to take inspiration from how other people style their videos or frame their shots and so on. Okay, yeah. You should never just slavishly copy them. But learn from people you respect and look up to. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Keep making content. Look, damn it. Don't stop making... Okay, you get the message. Don't stop making content. What? Don't spam your videos or channel by posting links anywhere it's not acceptable to do that. Just Don't try to game the system by buying views or likes. It's a scam. It won't. Okay, here's something I'd like to add some extra knowledge into. Don't try to game the system by buying likes, views, or subscriptions. Well, I know for an absolute that he's speaking plainly about external sites that send you an email saying oh we'll we'll give you so many views or so many likes or so many high retention views or so many subscribers or some bullshit like that I've seen some of those I really have I've ignored so many of them just ignored so many of them they finally stopped harassing me but on top of that YouTube, Google itself, has a system where you pay them to advertise your channel. That's the same damn thing as buying likes and views and subscriptions. 
because the turnover rate for how many views you get is 10% will click on it. 10% of the people who clicked will actually watch a video and leave a like or subscribe. So you're getting a total of 1% turnover and when I was testing that a few years ago that was at $50 a month. And that was um, that got a total of over six months that got like three people to subscribe to my channel before YouTube decided to delete it my previous channel and I started all the fuck over <laughs> <laughs> so yeah YouTube itself has its own little Ponzi scheme scam where oh yeah sure we'll we'll make sure your channel gets promoted so you get more views but at the same time pay us money for it so you're going in this loop you go you go you pay into it you get more views you, you get subscribers it comes into maybe somebody um, gets enough of this to go off and do ad revenue then you, you get a few pennies for thousands of views on ad revenue which you put right back into advertising which completes the cycle over and over meanwhile YouTube Alphabet and Google are making fucking bank off of all the effort you're putting in and they're making free advertising revenue off of you so that's what I wanted to add to that particular don't So yeah, there's there's third party scammers out there, and then there's Google, YouTube, and Alphabet scam itself, and that's that's why they censor a lot of people who say this shit like I'm saying to you now. That's why they get deplatformed because they don't like the truth being out there. But you know what? Fuck covering his other don'ts. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed adding uh, extra bullshit commentary to his do's. All the doo doos. <laughs> right, I'm done. For now, anyway, for this video. Yeah, there's links in the description for PayPal, Patreon, whatever flavor of support that ails you. Leave a like, subscribe, share the video. Use the links in the description to go off and, and support me so I can do more dumb shit. So I can buy uh, proper recording equipment and a proper PC to do more things because Microsoft Mixer just decided to shut down and fuck everyone over. So do that. Go into the description. Click on one of the links for PayPal or Patreon and start throwing money at me so I can do dumb shit again. Also, I'll be using a good bit of that money to get very drunk while I'm doing dumb shit. So there's that. Until next time, fuck off.